All right, we are live. Welcome. No tech problems this week, thankfully. Woohoo! So, right. <laughs> <laughs> we have conversations to raise vibrations every Wednesday. Uh, I am one of your hosts, uh, Lisa Kelly, and we have our other beautiful host, Elvira Hopper. So we are so grateful to be here with you. Uh, for those that have given StreamYard permission, we will be able to see your comments. If you haven't, please make sure you just put your name, who you are, because otherwise we don't know who you are when you're commenting. And we really do love to engage in these comments. So um, if you're watching later, just hit hashtag replay. And as always, let us know what you love about this conversation. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe to our beautiful YouTube channel. We are absolutely loving watching this grow. Um, so today, Tori Joe, yay! Hello, Hello ladies. Tori jo. yes, we <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad. Um, I love, 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 love you, Tori Joe. And I'm just, <laughs> the so do I. <laughs> I can't wait to see. You know, Tori Joe and engage in, in conversation. You know, I did another Servitude Tuesday interview yesterday with another beautiful soul. And um, I know that Tori Joe wasn't able to jump on live, but I see all her comments afterwards. And I'm like, man, this woman is amazing. Like the support <laughs> she gives other women. That's that's what yeah. I want to see. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That's a goddess. That is a true <laughs> goddess. Yes. <laughs> Or she gives other women, like she doesn't have to jump on Tuesdays and watch those interviews, but she does mm. because it's supporting the other women in the group that are, you know, starting over in their act too. So I just, I love that. Thank you so much. Love it. Yesterday was amazing. It really was. This woman um, is a beautiful soul. So, um, all right, today we <laughs> are, we are so excited because <laughs> as Elvina <laughs> let me know, I did not know this. <laughs> I just found out today. Thanks to Janet. I'm not sure if she's below because she's usually tuning in live. But this is thanks to Janet. I know this information. So um, yeah, thanks to Janet. This is um, kickstarted our our uh, live today. So thank you Janet, <laughs> for on here. Um, but today is World Ego Day. Is that what you said? To me? It's what? actually World um, Ego Awareness Day. So there it is right there. I'm just going to turn that around so you can see it. World Ego awareness day that this world ego awareness day yeah so <laughs> isn't that fascinating so janet shared that with us uh because she's a laughter yoga um uh, leader and um she she heard it and then she shared it in our group yeah. um and so i shared it because um, eleanor another another one that uh tunes in as well um my amazing miracle mindset mentor um one of my two top leaders uh, she shared it. So I shared hers. So anyway, we're, we're learning about the ego is, is being brought to the surface, uh, at this world, you know, ego awareness day, which yeah. I think is so important because that is the, the, the key of all this inner work that we do is getting present to our ego when yeah. it's running the show. And we're able to, to step aside from our ego and say, yeah. Hey, I see you ego. Here's yeah. how I choose to operate as my higher self. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. And the first thing that comes to mind is my guru, my absolute favorite. Joe Dispenza. <laughs> well, yeah, no? no. Oh, okay. Yeah, Wayne Dyer. I love Wayne Oh, Wayne Dyer. Dyer. Sorry. Yes. And what does he say about the ego? Edging God out, right? Edging and God out. That's exactly what we're doing with our yeah. ego. We edge God out. Yeah. Or the universe or spirit or source or source force, whatever you believe in. Yeah. Well, Exchange that I, God I, for, yeah. He yeah. Is, he is God. So edging yes. God out. So yeah, you yeah. can exchange that for whatever you want. But the, the letters, right, is edging yeah. God out. And yeah. I love it because, because we really, really have to be aware. And for those of us that have done our work and done the deep dive and doing the inner work and continue to do it, by the mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Not it's not one and done. <laughs> I wish. <We're> <laughs> well, no, that's why life is fun because you get well, to experience yeah. the contrast and you the get contrast. to grow and yeah. <laughs> well, <it takes> Abraham. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we do. And it's great. 
Um, and I like to take the word but out of there. <laughs> when we've done our inner work, then we can recognize that ego when it comes up. And one of the things we were just talking about um, in the studio was Mother's Day. Mm. That can be daily work. Yes, Tori Joe, it is absolutely, you know what? It is daily work. It yeah. really is. It's daily yeah. work with our communications. With it's a choice. Work. You know, how do we, how do we take things personally? Do we, yeah. do we look at everything is about ego and it is daily work. I love that. And sometimes hourly work. Um, <laughs> but Minutely <maybe> work. <laughs> depending on what we're going through. But we're just talking about in the studio Mother's Day. Mm, yeah. It's easier for some people, right? Yeah. If we don't get what we think we need mm. from someone else via our kids husband, ex-husband, whatever. So let's chat a little bit about that because yeah. we just have Mother's Day. And you know, this goes for birthdays, any special, uh -huh. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. Really yeah. Because, yeah. you know, you were saying your love language is affirmations and I, I like the same. I like to yeah. have and someone tell me what like I like that like the cards I got this year for my birthday were so meaningful mm. from my mom oh my god it was so meaningful I was bawling the one from oh. my birthday, they all just had so much meaning yes you just uh, celebrated your birthday so giving you a shout out for that <laughs> on Mother's you. Day so you had like I double know. celebration thank yeah. you but I didn't I couldn't say this quietly because my husband's out there I didn't get a card from him Mm. And I had to sit with that and be okay with that because he took us out for dinner. Like we had an amazing dinner. Him and I yeah. sat together outside. We spent time together outside. So, you know, there's, we have to be okay with how other people show up too. Yes. Yes. We have to be okay within and know that our world isn't going to crumble because we didn't mm. think we should have gotten from someone else. Yeah. Um, Maybe it's just okay. Like you talked about that with your son. So I'm going to Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. So um, in keeping with Mother's Day, I'm actually wearing my, the, my Mother's Day outfit. So I, I made these earrings to go with this top and these crazy pants. And um, anyway, they have all the, the, the colors in them. So I just I just felt very Mother's Day. Um, and, and that's why I wanted to have this conversation as well. Um, so yeah, so shameless plug for for the, the, the fact that I create jewelry as well as a fully expressed a uh, person anyway so so expectations somebody just put just as facebook user it might be janet i'm not sure but oh, okay it's right yes yes expectations are a low vibration so on mother's day this year i gotta tell you it was my best mother's day ever why because i had a shift recently in my relationship with my son so that, and I think I talked about it on, on this, this, uh, this show as well. Yeah. And I realized that my son does not have to show up any particular way to make me happy. Yeah. And so I had the opportunity to practice what I preach to walk my talk because my son used to give me these really lovely cards, you know, with these beautiful, you know, sayings like, mom, I couldn't do, you know, this without you. And I'm so grateful for all your support at university. I would have never survived without like all these beautiful things. Right. And yeah. my love language, like you said, is words of affirmation. Yeah. So anyways, um, but you know what, he's, he's, a, he's going to be 27 soon. He's got his own life, you know, like, like he's a busy guy. He has a really important job at Shopify. And I didn't get a card this year, but you know what? Like, and it wasn't just that because I found that out during the, the, the rest of the day, but I woke up realizing, oh my God, it's mother's day and I need nothing from anybody. Yeah. I, I am choosing to love and honor myself today. I know that I am a, a, a valuable being. I am a worthy being. And when you see yourself that way, it's like whatever comes from the outside is bonus is gravy. Yeah. It's, yes. it's not the main course. And I got so present to that this past Mother's Day. And so I was living in that vibration like all morning. I was, my, my, my husband is so sweet. I mean, you know, it's just a tradition since my, my son was little. He brings me tea in bed, you know, with a little a tray and everything. So he did that. So yes, I did get that in the morning. I did feel loved. But I realized, okay, like I, I really, I don't need this. You know, I, I could do without it. I'd be just as happy without it, but it was right. nice. It was like a nice thing. Um, right. but I, I, I was in that vibration of totally honoring, loving, valuing myself, connecting to my own worth, because I just felt like no matter what anybody does, 
I'm going to have an amazing day. And sure enough, that is exactly what I manifested. And my son and his partner took, took me out to dinner. We had an amazing meal. I got these beautiful flowers and um, I'm looking at them right behind the computer here. And, uh, and, and yeah, there was no card, but you know, it's like, I am so grateful for whatever I get. I don't, want anything more than what people are prepared to give me. I don't need things to be my way or the highway. And that used to be me. So I'm telling you, it was a huge shift for me. There were, there were years where things had to be a certain way. People had to jump through certain hoops in order for me to have a good day. And today I give myself the good day. And then as a result, whatever else is gravy. So do you resonate with that, Lisa? I love it. I absolutely love it. And that was the, that's the whole thing, right? Like if you feel that um, you need something, then look within. What yeah. Go within. Everything is inside. Everything is within inside yeah. yeah. because that need you're looking for outside of yourself. Yeah. And then you're giving yourself, like Janet said, expectations. Yeah. yeah you have expectations of how other people should behave and yeah. what they should you in order to make you feel good. Yeah. Your ego, your ego feel good. <laughs> Again, tying it into world's uh, ego awareness day. Yeah. It is about ego, right? It is a hundred percent is about ego. Yeah. And I think like you, I would have been just as happy with just dinner out with my family. Yeah. But- and it was amazing. And then I went to see my mom and we had a great gathering there with my brother and his family. But all these mirror, it felt like such a high vibe miracle day because I expected nothing. So when yeah. you have zero expectations of others and the way they show up, you yeah. can be happy no matter what. And, yeah. and that that is a huge thing for me personally, because my ego used to run the show, my previous life, I live so out of alignment that Mm -hmm. ego kept me going. Ego kept me alive. Ego kept me um, safe and, and either saying I'm not good enough. I'm not going to stretch, but playing the opposite where I showed up as I'm all that in a bag of chips because I was Mm -hmm. compensating for, I really don't feel good enough. So there was this thing called the nasty contrast game. This is what we teach in the love your vibe transformation. It's a nasty contrast game. But when you decide to shift to a whole different place, not playing the nasty contrast game of ego, I'm not good enough, or I'm all that in a bag of chips. When you shift to that place of alignment, of authentic self, of higher self, and you know that you are a valued human being, you are worthy, you are loved, that shifts everything, right? So so I got super, super present to that. Yeah. And I want to keep going with that just for a minute. Janet says, can you see my name? Yes, I can see your name. (laughs) It's there. Um, So wait, I want to, I want to go on that track there for a second. And I'm like, you know, when you're going to lose something, (laughs) Um, when you show up and you value yourself, sometimes it takes reframing. And this is what Mm. I do about reframing the thoughts that yeah. you're thinking. So if, if immediately your go-to is to think about, I didn't get a card, for example, I didn't get flowers, whatever it was, nobody recognized me. Stop that thought immediately. You have mm. seven seconds before that thought takes over your entire body. Mm. Hijacks your, 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 we go into the amygdala hijack and your body feels stressed. And then you go, then one thought leads to another thought leads to another, mm. leads to another until yeah. you form this belief, right? That's, mm. that's what it is. A belief is just the thought over and over and over again. And we have a belief. Okay. We know that. So stop it. I say, <laughs> stop it. No, literally just stop. Yeah. It. yeah. Stop. Stop thinking yeah. it and reframe it. Yeah. Right? Take a moment. I'm worthy. I'm valued just the way I am. I don't need it. Now. So whatever you, you, how do you reframe it? But mm-hmm. reframe it. Stop yeah. the thought, right? Yeah. You yeah. that's thinking thought. It's your ego that wants to feed that thought. Uh-huh. So stop mm-hmm. it. And then you look for ways to validate that thought. See, yeah. he's no good. See, mm-hmm. the, see, this happens all the time. And you call a friend. See, I never got anything. And then it's just like, oh, my God, Stop. <laughs> because we are powerful creators. Our yes. thoughts create things. Dr. Larry Farwell talks about this in the science of creating miracles. Our yes. thoughts create things. And he talks about stopping, just like you said, and yes. go to the thought, I am 100% safe. I'm 100% valuable. I'm 100% um, 
lovable or or yeah. worthy. I forget which one it is, but it's one of those. But yeah. he teaches us how to do this in his book. And it's actual yeah. quantum science that supports this thought shift that you talked about, yeah. Lisa. I, I love that. Yeah, 100%. And when you stop and you reframe the thought, and you literally live from that place, now you're focusing on something that you want to focus on. And because what we focus on expands. Yeah. So when you're constantly focused on, and we've talked about in our other previous episodes of shifting your perception, same, same type of deal here, shift your perception, focus on what you have in your life. So, yeah. you know, Sunday here, it, we're in our neck of the woods where Alvira and I are, it was a beautiful sunny day. It was the sky was mm. just bright. It was beautiful. Focus on that. Focus on gratitude, yeah. things around you. You know, if you if you spent it on your own. Um, I had a client, amazing client, who's doing the work with me. And her son ended up spending Mother's Day because of circumstances. Not for, And her, she has older kids, like 27, 20, I can't remember, but they're older as well. And he had to be at his dad's that day until mm. 6 o'clock. He had to finish something. And it was just, he came home at six o'clock so apologetic he felt so bad it was just it was the only day they could do it I'm so sorry mom and she said it's okay yeah actually okay yeah as do you know she said previously I would have been so upset at that before I did my work good for her and good said, for her said nothing we had amazing dinner and we just it was great yeah it turned yeah. out very differently it's always a choice yeah. but it's work it's your, and this is it's what we a choice. Yeah. You're, you're either yeah. feeding that ego. Yeah. Or you're turning within and yeah. doing that, and right? being your authentic self because you, who you are is love is joy is peace. And when you yeah. live in that zone and you don't escape to the ego zone, which is trying to protect you, but yeah. it's not telling you the truth. It's your false self. When you, yeah. when you live as your, like your true self, your authentic self, your higher self, and you make that your new go-to then you manifest miracles of your heart's desires. Like when I, when I let go of, of expectations that, which is a low vibration, right? Ego, low vibration, yeah. ego, think of it all in the same place. When I shifted to a place of, I am loving and worthy and valuable. Yeah. I, I got nothing but confirmation of those thoughts. And yeah. I love how you talk about the reframe. We, we talk about flipping the script in, in the love your vibe transformation. So you flip the script on what's happening yeah. so that, you know, gratitude is a quick way to shift, you know? Yes. Um, and again, it's not spiritually bypassing, pretending that feelings don't matter because your emotions and feelings are giving you indication of something you need to adjust. And sometimes it's just an attitude adjustment and you feel better, yeah. but other times there's things to clear. Like maybe there's a conversation that needs to be had. Exactly. Maybe there's something else that needs to happen, but don't supersede the, the emotions, feel them, figure out what they're there for, process them later, perhaps with a journal, perhaps with a feelings wheel, you know, the emotional intelligence. Uh, we talk yeah. about the love your vibe transformation. Eleanor Hayward brought that piece into it, you know, where you get really present to your feelings and then you journal about them. Mm -hmm. So you know why you're feeling a certain way. And then you go, okay, I'm feeling that way, but do I need to be feeling that way? Or mm -hmm. can I choose to have gratitude and let go of that feeling? Yeah. Like whenever yeah. you're ready, you can do that. That's what doing the inner work is about. I love it. I love it. And Janet says, I can relate to everything you are both saying. I have to share <laughs> around my She's got two older sons. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Janet and I have had great conversations about this. Well, um, yeah. My daughter is really, really good. Like my daughter is, is amazing. Yeah. But she, she's a girl. Yeah. Kind of, <laughs> kind of from the same cloth, you know, like yeah, she yeah. really does. She loves the same sort of thing. And she just yeah. always wants to do something. Um, so yeah. So like, can I show you what she did for me? Sure. Sure. Absolutely. It's, it's sitting here now. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is so beautiful. What does it say at, at the top? So it says no matter where we go, no matter what we do, you'll always have me and I will always have you. Oh my God. I'm going to cry. That's so I beautiful. Did cry. I did. <laughs> I did, did she draw that or was that something she had made? No, she's not an artist. And that okay, was okay. Okay. <laughs> I said, I said, Why didn't you draw it? It was, became this big joke because she's oh not, a, but oh um, no, she had it made on Etsy. She, she yeah, you yeah. Tell her you could put your clothing and it was, it's her, like, it looks oh so my much. God. 
So. Oh my God. Well, do you know what's funny is I, I got to say this because your birthday was on Sunday and I wanted to see you and give you this gift I got you. I was just about to say what you did for me. Yeah. Well, yes, you can tell them after, but I just want to say, I got you this gift online, just like her. I got you this gift and, and I can't find it for the life of me. I can't find it, but we are moving. So we're going to go through all our stuff. I will find it before I go and you will get it, but I want to describe it to you because it's so cool. It's a little, it's a sign about this big and it's got a little hanging thing on it. And it says, please do not disturb. Lisa is meditating. And it's a picture of you meditating. And I just saw it online. I said, I got to get this for Lisa, but I can't for the life of me find it right now. I'm so upset, I love it. <laughs> but I will. So anyway, just know my thoughts were there and I did get you something and I will find it. I didn't throw it out. I'm sure I didn't throw it out. You don't have to do that, but I have but to it tell was you. So, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sunday morning, I uh, got a phone call from the beautiful Elvira <laughs> and it was, I got my own personal jazz oh. rendition. <laughs> And let me tell you, if I could have um, recorded it, you guys would have loved it. It was You're so sweet. It was so, so beautiful. Um, oh, so my God. Cool. It really was. But so, yeah. That's one of the benefits of being my friend. You get a you get a singing message on your birthday. <laughs> it was beautiful. Tori Joe says, talking of Mother's Day makes me miss my mom even more. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tori so Joe. I love you. It's hurting my oh, ear. Yeah. Love you. Tori Joe, I, I was thinking about you Sunday with that. And oh. you know, this is where we need to talk about this. Actually, this is perfect, this comment, because not being able to show her how much I love her is hurting my ego. Okay. Mm. I what you're saying with that comment, because you, you're talking about again, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, and Elvira can jump in here too. But what I take from that is um, oh gosh, how do I word this? You're, you're wanting to show your mom, you think you can't show her your ego is saying, well, your mom's not here. So I can't show her that I love her. It might mm. be that. But you need to honor that in you. This is the piece we talk about. Don't bypass, don't spiritually mm. buy honor that it's okay to be yeah. feeling because you can't show her. That's okay. That you feel like that. That is a really rough day for a lot of people. Yeah. So I, I want to honor that. Yes, exactly. She says, okay, perfect. I thought that's where I was going. Yeah. And you know, you have to honor that. That is where we have to be careful with the ego. It's okay to feel that you recognize it. You know that she's not here in form. It's your first mother's day. Those firsts are always hard. You have to be present for that. And it's okay to feel hurt because you can't show her you love her. That is okay to feel like that. So that, yeah. you need to give yourself permission to feel that. Is there anything? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for, for being always so beautiful and vulnerable, Tori Jo. And yeah, my heart is so with you. It must've been awful on, on Sunday for you to feel those feelings. And, but here's, here's what, you know, I got as, as Lisa was talking is, you know, it's hard not to show her you know, your, your love and, and appreciation for her on mother's day, because she's not here in form. However, she's still there in spirit. Yeah. So I don't know if you took the time to perhaps write her a little love letter and let her know exactly what she meant to you. So I'm getting teary because I'm feeling her right now. Yeah. So I don't know if that's something you've done already, Tori Joe, but I just invite you to do that and, and to just sit quietly with a box of Kleenex and, and your, you know, your notebook or journal and just write her exactly how you yeah. feel and, yeah. and allow that to heal, uh, like to shed another layer and, and to heal even deeper. So are you willing to take that on Tori Joe? I think she's pretty, like, I can't speak for her really, okay. but well, I might. <laughs> she's okay. pretty writing letters because she's talked to me about oh, good. that. Good, good. Um, you know, your old self or your, you know, your new self. Yeah. And she said here, and yet my family was amazing. The living showed me love. I was going to say she has some pretty awesome kids. Yeah. And um, her husband's pretty amazing too. So yeah, there you she's go. got great support. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. but but I think well, when we realize, sorry, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Just was writing a poem for her yesterday. Her mind's blown. Oh that. my, I, there you I, go. 
you know, Tori Joe, and- you're always getting confirmation from the universe. Yeah, that's amazing. Poems are even better. So, so I'm gonna embarrass Janet for a second. Her her eldest son used to write her all these poems, and yeah. and I think give them to our Mother's Day or her birthday. I'm not sure, but uh, but he, he's older now, so he doesn't do it. Just like my kiddo, right? Stopped writing cards a couple of years ago, um, mm-hmm. and like I said, a couple of years ago, it used to hurt my feelings, but. Now it doesn't because I know he's doing the best he can. I cannot put my expectations onto him. He's going to show love in his own way. And he loves me. I know he loves me. So that, so it doesn't, he's my only child, right? So I'd like to think he loves me, but you know what? Even if he didn't love me for whatever reason, it's got to do with him. And I will be there to support him because if he's got some stuff to get through and, and maybe needs support from his mom because he's going through issues, I'll be there. Right. But I, I know he loves me. So that's that, you know, but like, I'm like, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you don't, you don't need to have love from people in your life. If yeah. they're in a place where they can't give it, just take what they can give you, even if it's just hello and, and, and love yourself enough that that outer validation just doesn't matter anymore. That, yeah. that is the point to, that is the, the pinnacle to get to in my humble opinion. Anyway, I agree. I agree. So, um, if like, I know we're coming up to like the, the mark and I want to, I want to do something. Um, and I, I didn't even talk to Alvira about this, but it just, <laughs> me sure. another gift that my daughter got me with these beautiful Oracle cards. Now I had told her about mm. this. So we went to Akash's den in Oakville nice. and, um, grabbed these cards. So Oh, nice. Gratitude Oracle. Love it. Well, this Angela art Yeah. Angela, and the artwork, Josephine Wall. Like if anybody mm. want to look up Josephine Wall, the art, her art is stunning. I have a journal of hers. And then when I was at a cash's den, I saw it, you know, the card section, I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have those. So I told my daughter about it. And then this is, yeah, new cards. Nice. For, I'm so excited. Nice. So, so pull I, one for us. I do. I really want to yes. pull one yes. for this whole group. Um, just I've been I've been holding them with with all the group's energy here today. Yeah. So this one, companionship, so beautiful. Mm, so it's beautiful. The, it's just the artwork in here is just stunning. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, yeah. Um, Thirty-two. Bear with me for a sec. Companionship. Having someone to interact with, share an interest with, eat meals with, or just talk to for a reason for to talk to is a reason for gratitude. Knowing you have a friend you call on or spend time with can make a huge difference in your life. When you have no plans to see anyone, your attention to personal grooming may slide. You may not be interested in exercising or trying something new on. Spending time with a friend will have you motivated, moving, and giving you extra time to self-care. There are benefits to sharing your thoughts with someone when you pass along something you have read and found interesting or provide a listening ear to someone. You are connecting with the world and moving from inside your head. An engaging conversation can dispel loneliness or low energy. Social interaction helps to elevate your interest in life. Regular engagement with others is linked to feeling happier and more content. Companionship is not limited to human connections. There is a lot to gain and much love to be realized from having a pet. Owning a dog, cat, fish, or bird can stimulate your desire to care. Contentment can recip- and reciprocation of love come from companionship with animals. Having an animal in your care can enhance your happiness and reduce stress levels. A man holds a woman's hand while seeming to propose to her. This proposal may be certain, a commitment or a decision that is being contemplated. The purple and blue hues of the woman's dress can be an indication of the crown and throat chakras. This is a reminder to make sure you are paying attention to your spiritual guidance while openly expressing your desires. The pink hues in the woman's hair may refer to listening. Pink may also suggest that an opportunity for a new love is coming. The crane flying in the background may be a reminder to look up. Cranes can indicate success or inspiration to trust the universe. There is potential for new opportunities. The peacocks in the foreground are a representation of kindness, integrity, and vigilance. And then she gives you an affirmation. I am grateful for the love and support I receive through companionship. Oh, that's beautiful, Lisa. Thank you. 
it. And you know what I love about them is is they go into what's in each car. Yeah, yeah. What That's it gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's I love gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. So, Thank you for sharing yes. that. I'm so grateful for your companionship and yes. for the companionship of the people below. And and uh yeah, we're we're so blessed with our community. Uh the Love Your Vibe community is just amazing because COVID was was really hard on a lot of people, but we gathered and and no one ever felt alone. And they just felt like getting through it was so much better than yeah. if they had done it on their own. And loneliness has been, you know, touted as one of the world's biggest um I want to say struggles right now, especially because of COVID. Yeah. So yeah, we need to find companionship communities where we, we do feel loved, you know, as we like I to do. say, safe, seen, celebrated and supported because you do feel loved in that kind of an environment. And that's important, you know, as much as you've got to give yourself self love, but surrounding yeah. yourself with the right people also supports you. It, it doesn't, it doesn't have to sustain you because yeah. you don't need that outer validation, but it yeah. does feel good because we're human we're humans yeah. and and we're not islands and and we need each other. Yeah, I, I love agree. that. It's so great because I, you know, I I've just only recently discovered Josephine Wall, but Janet says Eleanor loves Josephine Wall. Oh, yes. Yes. And Tori said my Reiki visions have always reminded me of Wall's art. Um yeah. wow. Tori Jo said, "Yep, yeah, needed to hear that message today." Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, I you know what? I so have to get some of those cards. I know they're so beautiful. As soon as I saw them at Akasha's Den, I was like, I, I thought those. of Eleanor too, because she has, she, she's actually giving me cards of hers and I didn't realize that was the mm -hmm. artist. Yeah, yeah. So I hope she watches this episode. Yeah. And, and you know what you can, I, I've told my husband, you can actually buy her prints online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would leave one yeah. in my meditation room here behind yeah. me. So. Amazing. All right. All right. Ah. As I'm beautiful so beautiful to connect um thank Amazing. you to like everyone um uh, who who continues to come in and support this and, and engage with us we're just i love you all so much um and yeah again it just if you're watching this on replay you know you're watching it later just engage let us know what you love about this conversation and if you're switching over to youtube just like share and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> and to everyone, uh, until next week, we will yeah. see you later. Bye for now. Bye. Three, two, one.